Hi, hi, hello. Must be another Monday, huh? Um, this week's video is a little bit different, and I know I've been saying that a lot lately, but it's kind of a vlogish type of come make tiny terrariums with me, I guess. Um, first of all, I want to preface this with uh, that's most likely not the proper way to make terrariums. Uh, first of all, the charts are way too tiny. And um, yes, the, I know the, the, the filming is a little bit trash right here. I, it was hard. I couldn't look at my phone. I just leaned it up on myself. And yeah, anyways, the charts are probably too small. The false bottom is very minimal. And uh, yeah, I also don't have anything that separates the false bottom and the soil layer. Also on top of that, I just took stuff from the forest and stuffed it into jars, so uh, no, it's definitely not sterile and there probably will be mold at one point. For context, I just did this uh, after having a hairdresser appointment. I went back home with the bus, but I got off a couple of stops earlier to go into the forest and make these terrariums uh, so yeah I just had on me what I had in my back I literally panic packed these tiny charts like 10 minutes before I had to go on the bus <laughs> so that's why they were just in the wooden box with a, a painting rack mainly for watercolors and acrylic so it's not like oil paint or something uh, yeah Yes, I always have a spoon in that bag. Why, you may ask? It's because one summer, me and my friend uh, went for walks a lot and we tended to get a bucket of ice cream, a small one, like a medium one, like for two people. So we had to use plastic spoons a lot. And first of all, we didn't want to keep on using the plastic spoons first of all they suck second of all it's not very sustainable so we opted for buying spoons <laughs> and i still have it in my bag of course i rinse it after usage and stuff but you know i just have <laughs> a spoon in my bag at all times well in that bag i have a bottle opener in another bag actually my school bag for a similar reason Uh, other tools I used were just literally sticks I found on the ground and the little tiny stones that are almost sand I picked those up on the pathway you saw me walk in the first couple of shots uh, I gathered the moss trying not to disturb the patches of moss uh, there's a lot of stuff uh, you should consider when you just gather stuff for example, moss don't take too much from like a small source and if you can um, bushel it together so it kind of doesn't seem like there's anything missing so it can grow together more easily again. Because moss actually grows pretty slow. For the little plants, I try to make sure to get their whole roots so they have somewhat of a chance surviving. Although they probably won't. Actually, I don't know. Maybe these will survive because I did something similar with uh, jam jars. Of course, I cleaned the jars first. But, you know, I just took them, went into the forest, gathered some stones, gathered some dirt, gathered, well, dirt soil, <laughs> gathered some moss and clovers and I made two of those and one of them survived. It still has the clover in it. It's doing well. It's nice and green and is... I don't know, do clovers bloom? Anyways, it's still doing fine and I had it since I think October. Yeah. And the other one is kind of doing a little bit less fine. 
Though in the one that's doing fine, I think I have little bugs like springtails, which uh, if you don't know, they're tiny little white bugs that uh, eat mold. And there's some kinds that live more in the forest. There's also similar thingies in the water, in swamps and stuff, and in ponds. And you also have a kind of those in those bugs in the houses. They're just tiny little thingies. You can barely see them with your eyes. Like you can see them. They're maybe like a millimeter big. And I think they're called springtails. We had to look at them in science class. Well, biology. On your microscope. And they just have a little tail that they jump around with. Oh yeah, now I was packing the tiny terrariums back into the box. I made sure to put them in the bag in the way so they're standing. Uh, actually, first you see me putting them in the wrong way around. I changed that again because I didn't want them uh, to get shaken around too much. Yeah, I actually also tried uh, not to shake around my bag too much. And uh, when I got home, they actually arrived in pretty good condition. So yeah. Uh, in the tiny three bottles. I actually bought them on the internet in 2020 and promised my friends to make tiny little terrariums so we have kind of friendship necklaces with tiny little moss terrariums. Although uh, that kind of didn't happen because I uh, procrastinated on it and then I put the jars in some shelf and then I forgot I had them. And this morning my For You page kind of reminded me of the fact that I actually like terrariums and closed ecosystems and I had a whole nother rabbit hole deep dive deep dive deep dive into terrarium so that that's where I'm at right now and actually want to go back into the forest and make even more terrariums although they probably won't survive well well so I probably should make a terrarium in the more professional way I guess like like I learned from serpent design videos, for example. And here I pack them. Pack them? No, I take them out. <laughs> uh, when I was home again. And you see me uh, putting the tiny ones on some leather straps that I had for like... Well, there used to be my mom's and they, she had them for like 10 years or something. So they'll probably break soon. But it's what I had on hand. And the other chores, I set them up on a tiny little bench in my painting nook that is pretty close to the sun. So they get enough light. When we're going close to summer, I'll probably have to move them somewhere where it's less sunny because I do not intend on cooking them. Well, if they survived that long in the first place. Uh, after this, I checked on the moisture again. They seemed a little bit dry, so I added a little bit more water. And there's not too much water condensates, so I'm guessing it's the right amount of water because you don't want the entire thing to condensate. That's too much water, so you're supposed to take off the lid for a while so the water can evaporate. Yeah, so I, I think I have the right amount of moisture. So yeah. Uh, my friends actually were quite happy about the tiny terrariums and uh, it was actually one of the friends' birthday. And with that, we're already close to the end of the video again. If you like art and crafty content, maybe consider subscribing to become part of the thing. Uh, see you on another Monday, maybe next Monday, maybe Monday in two weeks. Well, yeah. Anyways, bye!